Hey everybody, it's Star Wars Fan 71. And in the last part, we made it to Vermilion City and um and on to Route 14 and I almost didn't um give um all the Pokemon descriptions that I needed to do. You might be wondering where we are. Well, we're in the old chateau in, um, Eterna Forest. Because there's something I, that I want to do. You want to save him from this TV. Talk to him. The TV has an old malvillient feel to it. I'm going to look up what that means. Malevolent. Evil, harmful, injurious. Oh yeah, it needs to be nighttime. Um There's not really anything we can do in here. Yay me! But we are going to head to the Floraroma Meadows, because there's something I think I forgot about. That Churchwig could, well, Grottle, I should say, could really use. Oh, and I used a couple of my TMs. I taught, um... Frostbite Dig, and I caught Sky Scorp, um... I almost said Luster Purge. And I caught... I caught Gligar Earthquake. So, yeah. 150 base power because of same type of attack bonus. We're gonna tear shit crap up. I'm sorry, but we are. Um, what's in this house? Okay, I didn't forget anything. This video has been nothing but failure. Just because I'm impatient. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is a uh, this has been nothing more than failure after failure. Now a level 14 a bomb. Gee, I wonder if I can beat it. If you go in the Pokemon Center and you turn a city after you beat the, uh, after you have Team Galactic abandon their building, you can, and talk to a girl, like, 
three or four steps away from the, um, Pokemon, from the, um, like, desk in there, you can get a friendship checker, which I got one because it, I could use it for Corfish. This episode has been nothing but failure. Oh my gosh. This episode has been failure after failure after failure. Oh wow, that's a time. Twelve weakness. I'm going to save right here and change my clock to night time, because like I said, I'm impatient. I don't have time to wait till, like, 8 o'clock tonight. Um, time. Let's go with 2042. Cell phone! Man, this has just been failure after failure. Cell phone! That was my friend Hunter. He needs to stop texting, trying to call and text me during my recording sessions. Ugh. But this has been just so much failure. This is more. I have already fell off! Are you kidding me? <laughs> More failure. Excuse me while I go hit my head on something very hard. Oh my god. This is just so embarrassing. That's it, I'm just gonna knock you out. Mama said knock you out! Okay, I won't reference that song. I won't... Don't worry, I won't sing. I don't think I need to torture you with my singing. Unless you're Proton John, then I'll tell you up and force you if you're like... Cell phone!
Or apparently I didn't have a um super repel or I didn't have a repel up. Like I said, failure after failure after failure after failure. I know what I'm gonna be naming this episode. Now we'll go do what I want to do. Inside there, the TV, there's a there appears to be a Pokemon. Let's kick it! And now, we will battle our first legendary Pokemon. Rotom! Rotom is a very good Pokemon. What else would you... Well, I shouldn't say very good. It's more mediocre than anything. It's got some good, well, I should say alright physical and special defense. And... Go, Pokeball! And it's got some pretty good speed, too. It's got a pretty high catch rate for a uh, legendary Pokemon. You have a 5.9% chance of catching it with um, a Pokeball at full health. Dang it! Oh my gosh. More failure. Hmm. Who should I use next? I think I'm gonna go with Flygar. I mean, Sky Scorp here. Because... Fury Cutter isn't that great of a move. Wow! That did like nothing! <laughs> I think that probably did one damage. But Fury Cutter is good because now I can get it down to some low HP. Yay! I'm doing the Whitney strategy! I uh, like Whitney. Ugh. I held off on trying to capture Rotom for a while because anytime I tried to catch Rotom right as I had the chance, I have always failed at it. Oh, I should probably go over Rotom's moves. I think that would be smart. Let's try using... Wait, I have more than one Great Ball? Even I didn't know that! I are totally smart. Come on, that did worse than the last one!
When you first battle Rokon, it'll have the move. Um. I actually don't know its move. Yay me! Oh my gosh, everything's just blowing up in my face this episode. It has to move Confuse Ray, Uproar, and Shockwave. Is this valve just going to continuously blow up in my face? Will this battle ever stop blowing up in my face? You can make some commentary. I don't mind. This whole thing's blowing up in my face. A what? Oh. Um, no, that's Electrode, and I'm battling a, uh, Rotom, and... I really could have gotten, gotten more straight balls before battling this thing. Because it's just blowing up in my face. This whole battle is just blowing up in my face. I've got pretty much 11 Pokeballs. Technically 9. I've got 9 Pokeballs and 1 Premier Ball. Wow, talking about my failures help. Really Yes. Rotom, the plasma Pokemon. Its electric -like body can enter some kinds of machines and take control in order to make mischief. Hence why it caused me so much pain and agony. Oh wait, I never nicknamed Legendary. It just doesn't feel right to me. I'll go over what Rotom can do. Um, what they were saying is true, but I'll show that in the next 